Hello everyone, back to the UTV GazLovers.com March 2019 forecast. So, we're going to give you the um, March forecast in a moment. We'll go through the CFSV2 and Beijing Climate Centre long range models and see what they're showing uh, for March. And then we'll give you the GazLovers forecast. We're going to start off with a review of February's forecast and we'll finish up with a little sneak peek for April. So, coming up later on today, we'll have your regular week's 10-day video update, but be on the homepage. And this evening, we're going to get the events uh, page underway for another spring and summer season. First event is always the Cheltenham Festival. That's coming up next week, so I'll give you a little forecast this evening for the uh, Cheltenham Festival. And that uh, gets the Gazlogs.com events uh, page up and running for another spring and summer season. Right, so the March uh, forecast then. Uh, let's deal with February first of all. So we've got the uh, averages in from the UK Met for the UK uh, for February. You can see that it was an exceptionally mild month. This is set against 81 to 2010. All places coming out above average, either like a degree or above average. Some places, particularly Scotland down into northern England, uh, coming out a couple of degrees above average. It was exceptionally uh, mild uh, month across the entire uh, UK during February, particularly, of course, in the final week to 10 days when we have that extraordinary winter heat wave. It's also quite a dryish month uh, as well. So we see precipitation anomalies either average or drier than average, particularly dry again for northern eastern parts of Scotland down into northeast England. In fact, most of northern England had a very dry month. Uh, some parts of East Anglia, some parts of central Wales also quite dry and southwest of England too. These more southern and central parts of England, close to average with precipitation there, close to average for Northern Ireland and Western and southwestern parts of Scotland. Now, the Gazworthies.com uh, February forecast uh, did predict a rather dry month. So that side of things did go OK. Uh, we came away with, again, a fairly dryish uh, February average to drier than average, which was about what we expected after an unsettled start. It's a temperature side that went badly wrong. So we forecast that we'll probably have close to average temperatures, but probably on the colder side of average, if anything, so a little bit below average. Uh, and that was primarily down to the chance of a much colder second half to February. Because that colder second half of February did not materialise. And in fact, it went totally the other way. It went to exceptionally mild, even warm, summer-like uh, second half to uh, February. So it's about as wrong as it's possible to get, really, for the second half of February. And that means that Gas Club is February uh, month end forecast was a total failure. Uh, we can't see anything else other than it uh, It went very, very badly wrong in the second half of uh, February. So there we go. These things happen, and at least uh, we uh, we admit it when we get it wrong, and uh, the February forecast was a bit of a clanger. So uh, we shall move on, and we'll hope for something a little bit better uh, for um, for March. Just to say that the winter verification, the winter forecast verification is on the way. It's coming. It's going to be one day this week, hopefully. We're still waiting for the UK Met to update the climate averages um, pages for the winter so we can have a look at exactly how the temperature, precipitation, uh, anomalies and so on for the UK um, come out for the winter 2018-19 and then that will be set again to get out of gone forecast. So that is on the way as soon as they get, uh, get the averages for this winter updated at the UK Met. We will bring you that verification of the winter 2018-19 forecast. But we're going to get on with the March forecast now. Um, so this is 700 mil of our height anomaly from the CFSV2 uh, for March. And it's looking quite an unsettled month, really. It's got an area of uh, below, <coughs> excuse me, below average heights out to the north and the northwest of the country, the northern Atlantic, quite a deep area below average heights there. Uh, and it's also got a ridge of above average heights across central parts of Europe. So this is going to be bringing in kind of like a westerly flow, uh, rather like that. For southern and eastern parts of the country, there could be some drier conditions at times. But for the north and west in particular, you would expect a uh, chance of really quite an unsettled month with uh, perhaps some uh, much needed and useful rain. And rain would affect other parts of the country at times as well, of course. 
The CFS is forecasting a mild month with uh, substantially above average temperature anomalies. That's as the winds are coming in from the west and the southwest, of course. So all parts of Europe being forecast have a mild of an average month. The UK is like one, two degrees above average. Very mild March being forecast by the CFS V2. But quite unsettled. Uh, so you can see where the high pressure is going to be sitting through uh, through March. If this is correct, we get um, driving average conditions across France, Spain, Portugal into the Med. So this is all where the high pressure is going to be sitting. And then we're going to have low pressure up here if the model is right. And that's going to be bringing up the jet stream. Uh, rather like that. So a mild but wet uh, March is being forecast, particularly for western parts of the UK. So Ireland, Western Scotland, Wales, South West England, North West England, those areas substantially wetter than average. And I think there will be uh, much needed rainfall even into eastern parts of the country on that scenario. So an Atlantic driven wet and windy March is the forecast from the CFS uh, V2. Beijing Climate Center is also looking very unsettled. This is the 500 millibar height anomaly uh, for March. It's actually taking us from the 6th uh, of March to the 4th of April, so just in the opening days of uh, April. But most of the period of March, uh, it, most of this is covering the period of March. So 500 millibar height anomaly is showing a deep area of below average heights in the Atlantic and into the UK. The ridge is further away from us with the Beijing Climate Centre. It's kind of like more in the middle of the Atlantic compared to where the uh, CFS V2 is uh, is got it. So the jet stream is going to be on a more southerly track here. So not only is this a lot more unsettled, the Beijing Climate Centre would also be uh, quite cold as well, suggesting a, a colder month, I think, although it's Atlantic driven because the jet stream is aligning kind of like northwest to southeast and we are probably on the cold side of the jet stream. You would expect a fairly cool month, maybe even cold at times with some wintry potentials. This is a very unsettled month. There's a temperature anomaly that looks rather different to what CFS is showing. Temperature anomalies for March with the Asian Climate Centre actually coming out a little bit below average. There's a scale on the side, so we're only around half half a degree or so below average. But nevertheless, it is quite a cool month, particularly in comparison to the very mild month that CFS V2 is forecasting. Most central and northern, uh, northern and northwestern parts of Europe also coming out uh, with quite a cool month. And precipitation-wise, uh, Beijing Climate Centre is going for a very unsettled month as well. So the CFS and Beijing Climate Centre are both in agreement um, about this being an unsettled month. They're both in agreement that uh, we'd like to have above average uh, rainfall, particularly so in western parts of the country. The difference is in the temperature and in the overall pattern because the CFS... Uh, has high pressure across central uh, parts of Europe down to Spain and Portugal and back into the Azores, which brings up a southwesterly wind, whereas the uh, Beijing Climate Centre is uh, is further away with that high pressure in the middle of the Atlantic, and consequently it means the jet stream is further south, and it's just an all-round cooler uh, variety of unsettled uh, weather. Now, I think certainly for the first half of the month, we go with the Beijing Climate Centre. Uh, so uh, for the first half of March, I think we have a very unsettled uh, period up to the middle part of the month. And quite cool as well, maybe even cold at times. There is wintry potential in the next uh, sort of uh, 10 days or so, I think, um, particularly for northern parts of the country. But maybe even in other places, wouldn't totally, totally rule out the chance of some snow at some point uh, up to the middle part of March. The second half of March gets a bit more complicated. So there's two ways we can go in the second half of March. We can either keep this very unsettled and cool, or even at times quite cold weather going, if that happens, then March will be a colder than average month and it will be substantially wet and average too. The other way we can go is that we start to raise heights from the south again. We start to build up the Azores high. Now, I, that, I think that will happen in the second half of the month. That's what I'm expecting, but it may be quite late on. So overall, I think we go for a slightly cooler than average uh, month this March. Interestingly, it could actually come out colder than February. February is exceptionally mild, so it may be one of those uh, unusual situations where March actually has a cooler CET compared to February, which is unusual because um, we're in a warming time of the year, of course. March should, on average, be quite quite a bit milder than uh, February. But I think this 
year. Um, could be fairly unusual in that March comes out uh, colder than uh, the month before it. So I think slightly below average temperature anomalies for this uh, March and very unsettled. Uh, so above average rainfall. It's been a long time since we've had above average rainfall uh, over a monthly period. So uh, above average rainfall, unsettled month and slightly cooler than average. The reason I'm not going particularly cold is that I think towards the final week or maybe 10 days of month, we will probably start to build high pressure back up from the south. Uh, if that happens early, then it will turn out to be a warmer month than this forecast suggests. I think it will happen quite late, though. So I would expect this happens in the final week or so. And that turns us uh, substantially warm. We start to bring spring-like air up from the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and temperatures will rise up into mid-teens Celsius. It'll turn drier uh, as well. So that's why I'm only going a little bit below average, close to average, a little bit below average. I think the final week's 10 days will uh, produce something uh, much more spring-like. If it doesn't, then this could be a notably cold and wet month. So if we don't get that warming in the final week to 10 days of March, then this could come away with quite a quite a large deviation, I think, in terms of the uh, overall average temperature. And uh, potentially, I think uh, we could be shaping up for a very wet month as well, which is in complete contrast to all of the weather that's preceded over the past year. So it's another complicated forecast, again, uh, as they always seem to be at the moment. But the GavsWeathers.com March 2019 forecast is for slightly below average temperatures, uh, unsettled month, above average precipitation. There's the potential for wintry weather, particularly so for the north. We could get some late season snowfalls. Uh, although I do think that as we get through to the final week to 10 days, it's like to turn much more spring-like, hopefully. And then find just a bit of a sneak peek for April. So this is what CFS V2 is showing for April. It wants to build up a ridge of above average heights to the south and east of the country. So that's settling things down quite a lot. Uh, low pressure is being pushed back uh, over towards Greenland and uh, Iceland. The jet stream going north. So that's a drier and uh, rather milder, warmer type pattern, uh, potentially for April. That's a really, really long way off, though. So I don't think we should worry too much about that. So finally, the Gauss Weather to come, uh, 2000, March 2019. Uh, forecast is for slightly below average temperatures, above average precipitation, unusually for uh, the past few months, very unsettled and at times potentially quite chilly or cold even, uh, with uh, in the first half of uh, the month in particular, possibly something a little bit warmer and drier in the final week or so. We shall see how we do. As ever, we'll review this forecast when we come to do April's uh, month-end forecast. But uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.